more than a year into the pandemic and the COVID vaccine still being distributed across different countries, 0.75% of Kenya's adult population has fully been vaccinated. This, however, is considered a slow progress. And a big gap to this has been a global shortage and hesitancy to receive this vaccine. Generally, certainly during the pandemic, we've also heard the epidemic of mis misinformation uh, from the very, very beginning because people were very frightened about, about the, the, you know, the COVID-19, how it spread, you know, and, and, and so on and so forth. A number of this misleading information revolves around fertility and a need to depopulate the world. There's always been misconception that the West actually is trying to control the fertility in the developed world, you know, yeah. especially in Africa. The best method actually in order to control fertility is by placing something which can stop uh, uh, pregnancy from forming in a vaccine because we are taking a vaccine. Yeah. So the, there's the issue of uh, tetanus being laced with a vaccine which has been there for a long time. So that misconception about vaccine has been there all along, that actually vaccine is being used. And, and people felt that uh, this may be just another avenue of controlling family, controlling the world population. One of these crafty ways was twisting a petition tabled to the European Medicines Agency. Quoting this petition, an article by Health and Money claimed that once the COVID vaccine is introduced into the body, then a cross reaction will happen, fighting against the sensitive one protein in women, and this will end up sterilizing them. This escalated into claims shared online of a risk of infertility. Because there was that issue misconception that uh, that the vaccine, COVID vaccine, will act on the sensitivity of one protein, which is in the placenta of bed, and interfere with the with the process of uh, pregnancy. But it has been found that it does not interfere. So anything which will interfere with cysteine and protein, then will interfere with the pregnancy and may end up with a miscarriage. The body itself is able to recognize its own cysteine because of an immunological reaction. But the vaccine itself may actually attach itself on the cysteine one protein, but does not interfere with the function of cysteine protein. Because for it to impact negatively, it might interfere with the function of cysteine one protein, but does not interfere with it. Another claim has been that the coronavirus has the ability to affect the quality of sperms and libido in men. The COVID virus does interfere with spermatogenesis, the formation of the sperms. One, it interferes with the hormones which are produced, the male hormone androgens, which is essential for spermatogenesis. It interferes with it. There are some receptors of uh, what we call ACA, agentensin converting enzyme, which is actually in the in the um, test which is actually attached the COVID virus attaches itself there and that interferes with spermatogenesis and preliminary studies show that actually there's poor sperm count there's more risk of get abnormal sperms sperms which cannot be able to swim so the quality of the sperm may be affected again this does not apply to everybody but studies for people who have had the disease have shown that again because of the um, reduction of the male hormone androgens which is interfered with then some people have complained of impotence also. Another concern has been the vaccine technology used by both Pfizer and Moderna, the mRNA technology. Now the mRNA vaccine is a vaccine that is made uh, to mimic the human body's mechanisms of making antibodies or making proteins. M stands for messenger, then ribonucleic acid. This is a completely new different technology whereby they make the body, once injected with the mRNA um, uh, you know, technology, uh, then the body is actually able to produce what we call the spike protein. They're able to produce one part of the virus. The virus has what we call spikes. They are like items sticking out of the virus. Those are the ones that the body is then programmed to actually make once you're injected with it. The mRNA goes into the body to ribosomes and then makes the antibodies, makes the the, the spike protein. Once our spike protein is made, the body then fights that spike protein by making antibodies. Concerns being the safety of this vaccine, considering its rapid development and trials. So people need to, 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 to take all this information into context. The virus is in the air we breathe, and therefore unless we tackle it around the world, 
Nobody is safe anywhere on earth as long as COVID is anywhere on the globe. Thank you.